there. They couldn't get it to him. Griffin for Britain. Bingo! Blake Griffin, a huge three. His third of the night. Clippers lead by two. 140 to go in the game. Blake showing the full arsenal of season high. 33 points for Griffin. Williams a handoff to Batum. Griffin with the steal. Back to Paul. It's four on four. Paul for three off the back iron. Chased down by DeAndre Jordan. 122 to go. Doc running out onto the basketball court to Pat Freyer to call a timeout. Timeout for the Clippers. A minute. Paul will bring it in. Crawford is in there with a little extra firepower. Ball with 10 on the clock. Cross court. Crawford, a three ball. In and out. Got just what they wanted, but they get the rebound, which is even better. A minute remaining now in the game. If you're Charlotte, don't panic and don't foul. You just want to stop. It's a one possession game. For the Clippers run through your stuff. Clippers by two. Passing your seat belt for going down the wire. Griffin fly to the goal, score and get fouled. Heroic performance here by Blake Griffin. 35 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 3-3 three, three balls. Look at the pass by CP. He just was not getting the ball in those moments when the Clippers needed him. And the defense gets there a hair late. The bucket counts. Back-to-back -back three point opportunities for Blake. They're going to review this for reasons I'm not real clear about. Uh, Blake Griffin saying, what are they looking at? Yeah, that, that's what I'm asking, too. Like, are they saying we originally called this a block because we thought he was on the restricted line, and if he's not, he was in position and could be a charge? If that were the case, that would be... Well, disastrous. Yeah. 48 seconds to go in the game. Calling it a blocking foul outside the restricted area. Well, it was a block. You could see. You mentioned that second half the other night against the Spurs, Ralph. We're doing the same thing tonight. Free throw is good to the delight of the crowd. Zippers by five. 48 seconds to go. Here come the Hornets in a hurry. Kemba Walker going to what they've lost 12 of the last 14 games. Walker for three. Bingo! Don't go away yet. And if you're if you're Charlotte, do not foul. Two-point lead for the Clippers. You want to play this possession out and force the Clippers to score. Yeah, thir 13 seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. They just want to get a stop. They got plenty of timeouts. Here's Paul. You're already late. Tough shot from the corner. Uh oh. Oh, here comes Walker. Rivers retreats. And foul. Oh, he could have made that, well, that would and have had disaster. a free throw for the lead. Wow. But he didn't make it. It'll have two free throws for the tie with 12 seconds remaining. His three, Ralph, before. Look at what the contest of CP and DJ. I guarantee you he shot that a couple of feet higher and still knocked it down. His seventh three of the night, but Toombs made six. And this kid who was the MOP in the college tournament his senior year, the most outstanding player, has got two free throws for the top. He's made three out of four. 84% of the year. Bounces in. One more will tie it. Each team out of fouls. Clippers have timeouts remaining. So do the Hornets. Clippers were up by five a second ago. And Walker's done all the damage. Can he tie the game now? Yes, he can. Give him credit. See, belts fast and as tight as you can get them. 11 seconds ago, tie ball game. Look where they're going. A love ball works here against Walker. Four, three, two. Jump shot for the win. No! Overtime. How about that? Well, credit the Hornets for hanging in.